what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel it's your boy Jimothy. now ladies and gents we have some secret saucy five minute text for you guys to get your teeth into so without wasting any more of your time let's get straight on into it now the first card i want to talk about is draw muscle now this card reads target one defense position monster you control with 1000 or less defense draw one card also, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. You can only activate one draw muscle per turn. Now, this card is fantastic, especially for some combo heavy eccentric decks um, going forward. It allows you to draw a card and it also increases the consistency of your deck by being able to draw for your deck more quickly and get to more combo pieces whilst not hindering your strategy as there are no restrictions on using this card apart from not being able to use more than one per turn so draw muscle is definitely a card i think you guys could incorporate into some of your strategies the next secret saucy spicy tech ladies and gents is quick booster now this card reads target one quick play spell in your graveyard except quick booster shuffle that target into the deck if this card in your control is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to your graveyard, you can add one quick play spell from your deck to your hand except quick booster. Now ladies and gents, what is the most powerful quick play spell card in the game? You guessed it, Super Polymerization. Now this card actually allows you to search for that card which is absolutely crazy. That is obviously if your opponent decides to destroy this set card on field. So if you can manage to bait your opponent by setting a few back row just to kind of double bluff him and they decide to twin twist to you, voila, you have Super Polymerization in your hand, let alone all the other plethora of quick play spell cards you could potentially search with this card. So Quick Booster ladies and gents is a card you could definitely incorporate do not overlook this card the next selectively sumptuous tech ladies and gents is memories of hope now this card reads draw cards equal to the number of xyz monsters with different names you control you can only activate one memories of hope per turn now this may seem a little bit cumbersome to draw cards however with the introduction of the master rule 5 or the master rule format april 2020 Summoning XYZ monsters is not as difficult as it once was. Being able to put them anywhere on the field, including the extra monster zone, you can sometimes summon two, up to even three monsters per turn, and that's XYZ monsters, ladies and gents. So, Memories of Hope can potentially turn into a draw three. So, it's definitely a card which is very, very suited to the current meta and the current format of Yu Gi Oh!, which can actually net you some crazy advantage. So, do not overlook Memories of Hope. So ladies and gents, we find ourselves at the end of another video. Were there any scintillating, shimmering text that I missed out on? If so, get at me in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I will definitely, definitely see you guys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.